Okay, now that we've loaded, you're going to see that we have each group a different color. And you can see that. We know that H is not a filled group, right? And you can see here that the A bank has one, two, three, four, five, six patterns. The B bank has one, two, three, four, five. C has four, and D has four, E has three, and F has three, and G has one pattern. Now on top here, we see the number of, right here, scenes. And of course, song is still lit here, and of course we have volume lit right down here. Now if you look on the software, which you'll see the same thing, You'll see here, this is 808 Southern Kit. And if I click right here, we see all six of those patterns that belong to that group. If I click right here for the B bank, we have Carrot Cake Kit. We click here, we have five patterns. And the same also for C. Right, there's four, and we have D for the base, and so on, as you can see. So the machine jam helps us see that, which you normally wouldn't see here within the software unless you're doing what I'm doing right now. So go back to here to our first group, which is our 808 Southern kit. And we see the actual parts for that kit, how the pattern works out. And here we have our scenes as well, which is one through seven scenes you see right here. Here's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven different scenes, right? But you'll notice here that, let me go back, click back to here. You'll notice here that just this one scene here is clicked on and we have loop clicked here to play. So before I even play with this, I wanna show you one more thing. To check our master volume, I would go here and I select that button and now our master volume has been selected. And I can go here to my knob and sort of turn it down. And you'll see in the software that I'm actually turning it down. Let me turn to the software and you'll see it right here. Oops. Right here you'll see this button is going down. This little triangle there. I'll go up and I go down, right? So I'm actually controlling that. And this is important for you if you're starting out with your machine jam to, you don't want to play the speakers. You want to keep everything cool, right? And to press play, I can press play here on the machine, but I'll press play in the software. It's just like in the top half of the machine jam. And we can play it. We'll press stop. And that's that first part playing, as you can see, obviously. Now, what you'll also notice here is that I can go here and click two. And as I do, you see how it affects the scenes right here, right? Let's go to three. I'll click scene three. And that's scene three. Now I'll just keep clicking them and you can just keep watching what's going on on the software, right? So obviously when I hit those scene buttons, they go to that corresponding scene. 